and brotherhood are the marks of humanity. They are the hearts of every religion. They are the ultimate weapons against all powerful weapons. A very cheerful morning to our chief guest, Father George Allen Gadden, to our principal, Sister Krita Lobo, our vice principal, Sister Krita Pinto, our fraternity of St. Charles High School, and dear juniors and seniors. I, Arya, the president, and I, Ashmata, the vice president, of our school, USM Club, are here to present our assembly on the team IQM, celebrating unity. The Universal Solidarity Movement A small seed sprouted in the city of Indore on 16 July 1993 and it grew into a magnificent tree spreading its branches over 900 high schools and junior colleges all over India, communicating the message of peace and promoting the values of justice, true democracy and solidarity to teachers, students, parents, and other groups. The Universal Solidarity Movement of Value Education for Peace was founded by Father Vergis Alan Gadden as a proactive response to all the problems like uh, discrimination, rampant corruption, religious fundamentalism, ethnic conflicts, which were initially destroying the country. Do you all know the cherished tradition of that symbolizes the enlightenment of knowledge and the blessings of the Almighty? Yes, it is the lightning of the Lamb. Now, I invite our chief guest, Father George Allen Gadden, our principal, Sister Krita Lobo, our vice principal, Sister Preeta Pinto, our animator, Mrs. Ah. Chitra, and our vice president, Ashita Kairi Kulaydi
Hindus. The word Hindu is being derived from the Sindhu river associated by the Indus Valley civilization. The foundation of Hinduism are the Vedas with their four major divisions, the Samyuktas, the Brahmins, the Arakinyas, and the Upanishads. Hinduism and the teachings were developed over centuries by saints and sages with their basic principles of acceptance of Vedas as sacred scriptures and belief in karma, rebirth and moksha. A reading from the Hindu scriptures. A man who is born with divine in features and pure in his heart, he is charitable, he studies the scriptures regularly and obeys the direction. He harms no one, he compensates towards all, he is gentle, clear in his thoughts and actions, he is free of pride. Such qualities are his birthrights. Islam. Islam as a religion was formally founded by Prophet Muhammad in 622 AD. He was born at Makkah on 17th June. Muslim followers of Islam later distinguished themselves into two formal sects, Sunnis and Shias. However, the most sacred book of both the sects remains the glorious Quran. The Quran is recorded in Arabic language. Islam teaches tolerance of all other religions but advocates fight against only those who fight against it. A reading from the Holy Quran. Let no man mock another man until he is perfect himself. Do not defense nor slander one another. If God helps you, then no one can overcome you. If God forsakes you, who will come to help you then? So let the believers put their trust in God. Sikhism, the founder of the Sikh religion, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, was born in Punjab. It is one of the Yankas religion and was found 500 years ago. This religion preaches the message of devotion, remembrance of God at all times, truthful living and equality between all human beings. Equality is one of the important elements within the religion Sikh. It does not have any priest and they have become corrupt and full of ego. All people of all religion are welcome to Gurudwara, the place of Sikh worship. Readings from the Guru Granth Sahib The true worship of God is continuously performed by nature. The sky serves as slaves, the sun and moon as lamp, the stars serve as pearls, and the fragrance of sandalwood serves as the incense, the air serves as fan, and the divine unbeaten music serves as flute. Without sincere worship of God, nothing can be achieved. Buddhism. Siddharth Gautam Buddha of the Sakya Manachal clan was born at Lumbini, now in Nepal. He found the Buddhist religion around 525 BC as an organized revolutionary code of human ethics, conduct and culture. The Buddha felt the bondage and the desire was the potential cause of misery and grief. The race discrimination out of the Indian priestly order became a pragmatic methodology for achieving peace and order. The most sacred text worshipped by the Buddhists is known as Dhammapada and the most sacred festival celebrated by the Buddhists is Vihar Buddha Purnima. Readings from the Buddhist, Buddhist scripture All that we are is the result of what we have thought. It is found in a thought and it is made up of a thought. If a man speaks or acts with an evil thought, pain follows him like pain follows him as will follows the foot of an ox that draws the carriage. But if he speaks or acts with a pure thought, happiness follows him like a shadow that never leaves him. Jainism. Jainism at the stem of a Sharman culture is more ancient than a Vedic culture. Rish Vedic, the first promoter of Jain religion. It is said to be an elaborate religion. The last, Tirtankara, Svartamana and Mahashiva felt the need of making, making religion. Reading from Jainism. O oh man, think that the being that you want to kill is none else but you. He to experience happiness and sorrow just like you think about this. The being whom you wish to come in and enslave is none else but you. Also think about this. The being whom you wish to harm and hurt is none else but you. The being that you want to punish and drive away is also none else but you. The origin of Pasi community goes back to 10,000 years. It was found by Prophet Zoroastra in Iraq. The Pasi community worships fire. The name of the holy fire is Iraksha. The Pasi community is one of the smallest community in India. They have contributed their utmost of the development for India. A reading from Saint Avesta. If 
If a man allows impurities to find an entrance into his life, whatever ideals he has gathered around him will one by one fall away from him. His imaginations will be dull, and however intellectual the man be in his saddest moments, he will try to estimate himself not much above an earthworm. Bahai Fir. The Bahai Fir is the youngest of the world's independent religion from Persia, Iran. It was founded by Baha'u'llah. It opposed the unity of God and his prophets. It opposes the principles of unfettered search after truth. It condemns all forms of superstitions and prejudice. Teaches that the fundamental purpose of the religion is to promote conquer and harmony. The Baha'i community celebrates all over the world, Norway. The Baha'i New Year is celebrated on 21 March. Teachings of Baha'u'llah. Helium and allow your hearts, let them not be profaned by the thrones of hate or the distance of malice. We all dwell in one world that has been created through the operation of one will. Blessed is he who mingles with all men in a simple form of utmost love and kindness. Our core principle, transform the world by self-transformation, is being put into practice by following the five parts of a personal transformation. Upon my companions who will say about the five parts of a personal transformation. The five parts of USM. Do a good deed every day. Convince me without any selfish motive. Honor your parents, teachers and all you and all human beings. Pray daily for peace and forgiveness to become an agent of reconciliation. Respect Earth and save its resources. Our club members are here to perform a short skit that aligns with our team Aikim. The skit will include a short story demonstrating how unity and collaboration is really very important and also the reason for the USM Peace Club formation. In various cultures and a rich heritage, it has a unique culture and is one of the oldest and greatest civilizations of the world. Religion plays a central and definite role in the lives of many of its people. India is one of the most religiously and economically diverse nations in the world. We are unique because we share our culture and tradition amongst others in the society as well as we respect each other. Today, we the members of USM Club are going to show you a short skit based on a short skit based on how unique our nation is. December 1992 to 1993 in Mumbai was a period of communal violence. Many people were killed, injured and even some went missing during the riot. Here comes our club members with the same thing. Sit back and watch the joy of their culture and happiness. <laughs> Shubhashi Agar 
we wish you the same. Let's go to Shahid's family to give some sweets. First, let's call our mom. Kathy, where are you? Come, let's go to Shahid's house. Yes, come in. Life is peaceful and beautiful for everyone. But little did they know what was going to happen next to them. This 
entertain us a lot. We like seeing blood. Ha 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 ha. इतने लोगों को तो मार दिया और कितना खून चाहिए तुम्हें ये हमारे साथ क्यों हो रहा है हमें क्या बना दिया था तुम्हारी तो कोई गलती नहीं थी ना इसमें Stop this violence that is not the answer for anger and problem This incident was a major reason for the beginning of USM club. Watching this news on television, Father Vargis Allen Garden started a youth club to stop violence, communal riots and corruption. Today, we the USM club members dedicate this gift to our father to our father Vargis Allen Garden. We also request to each one of you seated in this hall to love one another. to stop anger and stop violence thank you the soul force of yosan club our uh, staff uh, admin staff and my dear students hearty congratulations you done an amazing job <laughs> i want to congratulate the yosan club for a wonderful performance very inspirational message let's give them a big applause Everything that you did to 
day, starting from the song, the prayer song, prayer dance, and the song that for the work is composed, uh, I have a dream, it's Sapna. That is very dear to Father Vergis, the founder of Yosef. Then we had all the religions, uh, scripture readings with a wonderful costume of each religion. Very inspirational. And they knew every scripture from memory. Wow, I am really impressed. Hearty congratulations, my dear Yosef Club. You did very well for the scripture readings and the message. And the play, the skit they produced was the reason why USM started in Indore. Father Bogus was distraught, very sad, depressed by the violence that took place in India, especially in Mumbai, that broke his heart. He wanted peace and non violence. So this play was very appropriate. And uh, the cultural dance showed the diversity of India. I was very fortunate to live in Indore, in Yosem uh, community for two years. And I have changed, I have witnessed the change the students make in their lives. So I am sure this will bring about a change in your life. Father Vergis believed in the saying, it's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. So each one of you, you are the little light. Let your light shine for all people to see. And Gandhi said, before you change your family, before you change the nation, you have to change yourself. The five parts that were presented to us, they are an invitation to change your life. If you change your life, everyone else will change. Your companions, your friends will change. When you change, your family will change. The, the nation will change. So it's wonderful. I want to give a short message on unity in diversity. Diversity. Pluralism is the gift of God for our mother India. Compared to Europe, which is many nations, India has got more diversity than all the nations of Europe. This is very special. You look at all the languages we speak, the different religions, the four major religions came, yeah, came from India the cultural dances we have, the types of food that we enjoy, the costume, the dress, what a diversity. We must celebrate pluralism and diversity. Now, I want to tell you, it's not mere tolerance of diversity. I tolerate your different. Pluralism is acceptance, appreciation and promotion of differences. By God's gift, we are all different. Life will be boring. If everyone's face is the same, don't you think life will be boring? Life will be boring if everyone ate only idli and saba or dosa or upma or chapati. We have so many different tastes in our life. So diversity is a gift from God and we must appreciate everything. Every person is different. Every person is different. You look at your palm. Each one's palm is so unique. It's God's gift. So we must accept, appreciate and promote differences in our life. That is diversity of pluralism. Now dear friends, as we celebrate diversity and pluralism, we also believe that God made us one. If you go according to externals, then you have uniformity, but not unity. Dear friends, it's important 
not only to have uniformity, but more important, to have unity. Uniformity is about the externals. Everyone eating the same food, everyone eating the same language. That is uniformity, very superficial, very superficial. But unity is about values, about values. The different religions give us very important values. For example, in Hinduism, what is the value that is uppermost in Hinduism? We are one family. The whole world is one family. Vasudeva Kudumbakam. One family. That comes out in, in the Hindu philosophy very much. In Islam, what is the prominent value of Islam? Is solidarity, brotherhood. They are very much into brotherhood in Islam and discipline. Five times they pray, rain or shine, they will pray. In tribal religions, there's so much mutual love and solidarity. I have a couple of friends working in old age home. They're from the tribal region of Northeast. They will not eat alone. Even if it's three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock, they will wait for everyone to come together to eat. The family that eats together stays together. So they have the solidarity. In Sikhism, what is the dominant value? Their courage. You know, the Sikh people are very courageous. In Christianity, what is the prominent value? It's forgiveness. Sacrifice and forgiveness. Jesus said, love your enemy. So these values bring us together as one nation in India. I want to conclude with what I experienced in Bhutan. I was very lucky to go to Bhutan a few months ago. And every home you go to, every school you go to, there's a beautiful painting of four animals. The elephant, okay, on top of the elephant, a monkey. And top of the monkey, there's a rabbit. And top of the rabbit, there's a bird. Four animals living in peace and harmony. The big elephant, fat. Then the monkey on top. Then the rabbit on top of the monkey. And the bird on top of the rabbit. Now what is the meaning of these four friends? It's called four harmonious friends. You can Google and you can get the beautiful picture of these four animals. The story says the elephant is so huge, it cannot get the fruit. They are under a fruit tree. Can the big elephant, you tell me, get the fruits from a tall tree? No, no way. So it needs the help of the monkey. The monkey will jump to the top of the tree and get you the fruits. Now, what's, why do we have a rabbit? and a bird. How do you have a tree? You need a bird to bring the nut to be in the soil, right? So it is the bird that says, I brought the nut and I gave my fertilizer and made the plant grow. <coughs> now, the rabbit says, because I could dig the ground, I can put the nut in the ground, cover it with soil, then it will grow. So we need all the four animals working together harmoniously to bring about the fruits of this beautiful tree and enjoy the fruits. Now, it also got different meaning. The elephant means strength, right? The monkey is the mind. And the rabbit runs fast. It's got speed. And the bird from top of the tree has a long vision. When we are down here, our vision is very small. But the bird flying high has got a long, big vision. So we need all the four aspects of life. We need strength, right? Both physical strength, 
emotional, spiritual strength. That's the elephant. We need the mind to think clearly. That's the monkey. But we need people who will execute the thinking very fast. The rabbit runs very fast. Some people have good ideas, but they sit on them. Sit on the good ideas. They don't execute them fast. So we need the rabbit. Then we need vision in life. The bird has a long range vision. Some people have a short range vision. That's ambition. I want to be a doctor. I want to be an engineer. It's good, but it's very short range. But if you say, I want to be a doctor to help the poor people, it's a vision. It's a long range vision that will give meaning to your life. So the, my dear students, my dear teachers, we need people of every temperament and character to live harmoniously and peacefully in our school, in our society. We need strength, bodily and spiritual. We need students who are smart, intelligent, who are good in math and science, but we need rabbits who will execute the plans immediately fast and we need not only ambitious people but people with a vision i once again congratulate the yosan club for a wonderful performance it inspired me i was very touched by your message it came to my heart and when i talk to different groups when i meet i will quote your example how beautifully you performed everything from song, play, the dances, wonderful. So I go with a, one, a wonderful message in my heart to share with my friends. Hearty congratulations. May God bless you today and always. Thank you. <laughs>